This is Scott the Fix-It Guy. Our goal with our videos is to empower you to be able to do the repairs on your own and save a whole lot of money and also get that great feeling of having fixed it by yourself. This is a drain pump taken off of an LG washing machine that had the OE error, which means it's not able to drain. And you can hear the motor running, but it wasn't moving the water. And I think it's because this impeller is loose on the motor shaft. So we're gonna just gonna take it apart, and see if it's anything that can be repaired. What happens when we add power to it? Um, it'll spin, but it's kind of bouncing around, and that's just because it's still pretty. Usually, you have to get a new one of these, but you can get them for about 20, 25 bucks on Amazon. So I'm going to be putting a standard head screwdriver in here and just prying this front panel off. And uh, I think it just fits in kind of like modular fit. It's got an O-ring underneath it. So pull that out. We feel the spring tension. We can see that uh, water had gotten in past the O-ring. Might be part of the problem. Let's do a little bit more investigation. This is the main motor assembly here, and this magnet and impeller assembly fits inside. And I'm not sure if uh, the problem was a result of the intrusion of that water, but we can tell that the impeller is just kind of loose on that motor shaft. So if you get a new one and you um, were to turn this, this magnet it would turn with with the impeller, but right now I can turn the I can hold the magnet and turn the impeller, and they're no longer really well connected. So I think that's the main problem. We can look at if we pry this impeller out away from the motor shaft. Just using a little more leverage now. It's gonna come loose. So uh, there's the impeller. It has its own little O-ring there. That's interesting. Sounds like it's supposed to make contact with this white plate, I would think. I think it probably broke off a little piece when I pried it. It's got a nice uh, brass piece here that attaches to this shaft. and You can tell that when you move the magnet and the shaft, that that brass piece is really on there tight. Looks like the brass piece fits up inside the opening of the plastic impeller. That's probably where the inherent weakness is. It's not this, it's not this, it's not this, it's not this, but it's the connection between this and this that's flawed. So if you if you're in a bad place, you couldn't get this new one. And you said, "Well, I got to get my machine going again." If you can break this connection, <clears throat> get this really dried out. There's another O-ring right there, and then put epoxy, preferably fast, like five-minute epoxy, around this upper part of this brass piece, not lower, but just the upper part. and reconnect these, hold it tightly for at least five minutes, then the, the magnet and the impeller will, will once again be one piece, and you can just put this magnet back in and just push this shut. I would clean up, first I'd clean up that inside though. Put this sh shut again, should get a watertight seal, and you should have a impeller that works again. You should have a nice connection. So hopefully that'll help you. Um, usually as a technician, we just buy these new ones for the customer. They're, they're about 20 to 25 bucks, and it gives them another <clears throat> probably four years of service. But if you're in a pinch and you said, I just got to get this thing going, you can just use a screwdriver and pry this thing up until it comes loose. Then apply 
two-part five-minute epoxy to the outside of this brass piece and, and a glob of epoxy here. And then, make sure everything's dry first. Put them together and hold. You don't even have to take this apart. Just hold that for about five, ten minutes. And after, say, half an hour, you should be able to put the machine back together and you will have a functioning drain again because this works, the motor works, power's coming in, it will spin. It's just the problem is the shaft spins, but there's no spin of the impeller. See what happens when we add power to it. Um, it'll spin, but it's kind of bouncing around. And that's just because it's still pretty loose. Not really on there tight. So even though it's all dirty inside, the motor will still work fine. It's not really the water intrusion that's doing it. But it's just this comes loose from the shaft. So when you add energy, it may just, it may just come right off. So the motor's spinning, but the impeller's just not on there very tight. 